Hey guys, um, coming to you today showing you my new Smith & Wesson 1911. Um, no, it's not brand new, but it's new to me. Um, I made a trade for it today um, off of a Facebook group, and I'm really excited about it. I have been looking for a nice commander size 1911 for a while. Um, I picked up a Citadel, and I had it for a little bit, but... Um, I like the black and stainless look and I was really struggling to find one so I finally found one um, and it's a Smith & Wesson so I really like that uh, it's gonna be dependable um, I can get some parts for it um, you know to upgrade or you know do whatever I need to do and it's not gonna be difficult to find even though most 1911s are um, universal and the parts that they accept or take but this is a commander size 1911 um, <clears throat> this particular gun was manufactured in um, about 2007 so uh, considering that it's you know solid metal it's not gonna uh, you know it's not gonna have to worry about it breaking or anything like that but um, so it's not brand new um, it's the um, Smith & Wesson it's the S the SC subcompact 1911 I don't know if you can see it right there it's kind of on there there's a little bit of um, like a light engraving or lettering on there uh, it's a little bit older I don't know if you can see it there you go um, they don't make this pistol anymore um, they make a new version of it in the E series Smith & Wesson 1911s um, but I'm very happy with this one I don't see a need to to upgrade or anything the only thing I had to say about it um, whoever had it before didn't really take great great care of it um, I'm gonna have to get out my Dremel and do a little bit of polishing on the slide and really clean it up and oil it up. It's got a um, Wilson Combat upgraded uh, recoil spring. The recoil is pretty, pretty hard. Um, so what I think I'm going to do to this pistol, I'm just going to do upgrade any kind of spring that's in here, except for the recoil spring because that's brand new. Um, but I'm going to upgrade every other spring that's in here, um, polish the slide up. I'm actually going to keep keep the black that's in there it's I don't know if it's black it's more stainless it's it's just cut at a different angle so if you turn it that way you still see see stainless but if you turn it straight it looks like it's black and I really like that so what I think I'm just gonna do um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the sights off of it I'm going to completely polish the slide up and then I'm gonna take uh, strip the frame down and I'm gonna Cerakote the frame and then I'm going to try to put some night sights on there. I gotta see when I can fit that in the the budget. Times are hard, but uh, but that's gonna happen. I like the grips on it. These are the Smith and Wesson grips. They're they're kind of rubberized. Um, I do like it. Um, safety's good on it. Nice. Um, so trigger on it. I have to say I do like it. Um, it's got the adjustable trigger on it. Um, it doesn't really have any take up to it really barely any I th I'm probably adjust it just a little bit but um, you know barely any and there it is just the way it comes so I like that so uh, this just showing you what I got and I will definitely be doing another video uh, before too long after I do a little bit more work to it just to see what you got just to let you guys know what I've been doing so alrighty that's it